Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here in China. Now we are playing as the left KMT. Last time we rebelled against the tyrants in Nanjing, or the Nanjing clique, and we're still at war with them. And I want to address a few comments, but before I do that, we've got quite a few uh, areas that are demilitarized here in Asia. Mongolia, Maklik, Sichuan, but um, yeah, the, the Qing Chinese are not doing so well right now. They've kind of switched countries. To the Zili clique. Now they didn't really change too much, but uh, oh, Peking Commission influence level. Ooh, Black Monday deepening leadership crisis, overwhelming national debt, and they went with the future of the Zili clique because, well, they did not in favor of An Qing or Nanjing, so they're not having a straight up good time right now. But that's okay. So we should do do a focus. Now I've had a couple comments saying that. I should go down a particular path, and that's my cat Binky rebelling about what I'm, about what I'm about to say to a degree. So I really haven't looked at this part of the tree yet about like the future of us. Now, obviously, we want the left KMT to be in control of everything, <clears throat> and I've been told that you know what, a lot of people choose the People's Republic of China, the PRC, when they choose the left KMT. I don't really want to do the PRC. The normal PRC, just because we already have the PRC in Vanilla with DLC, in Waking the Tiger. We have the PRC, the People's Republic of China, in real life. No thank you. So, I'm not exactly sure which path or which way I should go down here. I've been told maybe I should try just going straight down dem democracy, perhaps. Not really syndicalism, but just more democratic stuff. Probably not totalism, but we'll see what happens. I'll take... I'll collect your input uh, from your comments. So... <clears throat> now, we could get some capital, some German capital. We could use that German capital right now. Oh, and the military stuff is good to do. And I do want a professional army as well. Not a regional militia stuff. No, thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, handle them. Um, convoys, huh? Well, let's seize German capital, probably. So, the robber barons and imperialists of Germany have been content to let these local warlords abuse and harvest our nation's interior while their commissioners idly collect the dividends in their treaty ports. The KMT will not stand this or stand by this any longer. Any capital held by the AOG shall be immediately requisitioned, and any land seized must be taken from their foreign hands. Absolutely. So, time for business. Under Li Jishen, we're going to give an offensive. And we don't have, well, the bulk of our army is only 8 combat width, which isn't ideal. Oh, God, no. Bank, are you okay? Uh, actually, let's double check. So this is the, oh, God. Which one's 8 combat width? I think it's a Bubshi. Yeah. Oh, no, that's 12. Who is, you are 8 combat. Oh, God, no. I can't convert you guys. Oh, that's, no, 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 no. You are 12 combat, with, which is good. The militia divisions are... Oh, they're garbage. Oh, why do I have so much garbage to work with? Why? Go ahead and try to move into these locations. Because we want to take as much land as we can for now. Especially because, well, Nanjing is also fighting Shandong. Or Shanqing. Sanqing? Shanqing? Alright, calm down, Bink. Jesus Christ. Oh, they have revolts. Oh, that's not good. Oh, please don't have revolts. My goodness. My cat is a little crazy. Ah, oh, that's okay. That's why we love them. Cool. Let them attack us. We're attacking them. Push those suckers out. If we can. Wow, our attacks are not doing very well. Then again, our divisions aren't really good whatsoever. Um, yeah, those divisions are much better. Ah. <clears throat> okay, so really, it's already May... 1936. China's on fire. Holy cow. Can we please win here? That'd be so great if we could win. But if we can't... Oh, we might win. Just grind up that as much army XP as possible because I want to get rid of... Ooh. Mobilize NRA militia units in North Zhangzi. Ooh. That's cool. I need I need the... Uh, I need to completely liberate this or get more political power to do this. That'd be great. But I need to continue army reforms which would be very important. But I need 150 army XP, which is honestly a ton. Which I think just for now, it would be better if we just made these guys bigger. I think that would be better overall. But I don't have the 150 infantry equipment right now, so... 
Let's wait on that just a little bit. Oh, Bebink. Oh, they put more divisions in here, but we still might be able to win, maybe? Poland falls to nationalism. He's... Okay, well, I mean, there goes the Poles. Come on, Bink, sit down, be quiet, take a nap. Alright, coup d'etat in Siam. Ah, uh, war propaganda wouldn't be bad, actually. I like the war support, but I've been told, or recommended, I should really say, I should go for total mobilization, because, well, it's the best that we could do, but I need more war support to actually do that. I'd like to go down that way right now, but I can't quite do that. Population-wise, that actually would kill off all of our military, because we don't have enough population to actually do that. Ah, oh, see the German capital. Awesome. And... Uh, all this stuff is cool and all, but probably the best thing we could do right now is have a one-nation army policy. Now, we could prioritize manpower, which looks really cool. Um, One westernized infantry division, level 3 general named Du Yaming. Or, prioritize modernization, which I, I definitely like that. Which would die on Lan. Nice. So, one ar nation, one army policy. Local forces loyal to a general or town instead of the party state cannot be trusted. And relying on them is the devil's bargain. These bandits and petty warlords need to be neutralized by security sweeps before they can establish themselves. The byline of one nation, one army should be taken to heart in our military planning and future expansion of the NRA. Great. You know what? Help them out. Unless you get attacked. Uh, infantry leader, good. He was born in Huanggang, Hubei, Qing China. Come on. Get rid of these fellas. And please tell them they're at least holding in the north, which is good to see. Which is very good to see. 92. We're letting time go on as fast as possible. And a five. Oh, creation of international avant-garde. Awesome. Union Syndicalista Chiefs... Uh oh Oh, boy. Stop your attack. Hold you there. Win. Oh, we took it right before they could come in there. Awesome. How many men did we lose? 5,000. Basically 6,000, actually. Versus 46,000. Beautiful. Basic machine tools. Awesome. Let's get to some dispersed industry, because why not? Oh the, oh, the Italian Republic. Oh, nice. You guys are syndicalists, though. You guys are syndicalists as well. Cool. And, of course, we have two Sicilies. I could mobilize these guys. I could use those divisions. Two more... And we get 1% more war support. We get two militia brigades, which, yeah, I know militias aren't great. But I'd rather have that and use them now than wait. So... I'll attack Xinhua next, if possible. Assumes control of Argentina. What's our supply? So we have a good amount of infantry equipment. We need more artillery, though. And steel. Oh, my goodness. Does this area of Nanjing have any steel? Yes. What I can try to do is potentially break through here and try to cut these guys off. Encircle these people here. They'll probably just, you know, have ships to go through there, you know. Take out the port, perhaps. I need more divisions, really. Huh. I need supplies. I need divisions. I need... I need a lot of stuff, man. I'm not making nearly enough guns. I'm going to have to risk this over here. Try for the best. Try that. You might not win. They're actually probably pretty beefy boys around here. Five to six infantry battalions, and then... Five to six militia battalions. That's not bad, actually. Georgia joined the... Proletarian Alliance? Who are you? Oh! Okay, Georgia, you want to die really early, don't you? So, oh, I forgot the Soviets were alive. Oh, Bu Xing. Bub Bubbing Shi. Uh oh, the Mad Baron's rules at an end. Mongolia. Did you take this from somebody? Maybe not. Yeah, I think I'm going crazy. I like that hat, though. Sol Solin Danzan. Hello there. Western Banditry. And some Militia Divisions, which I cannot convert. God dang it. At least we got him. That's, you know, at least I can say we got him. Oh. We'll take whatever we can get, really. Soviet Russia. Oh, wait, I thought they were already at war. The Second Russian Civil War. 
Love it. Love it. I'm gonna let this guy get a little bit more experience before we go to before we attack him some more. National Revolutionary Army experience. Minus 30%. One nation, one army. Very good. Tigris Battalions. Civilian civilian factory. Can't do this yet. Ooh, I need to be at war with Japan. That sounds kinda difficult. Provisional legal code. Stability war sports. Consumer goods and oh my goodness, this looks good. Land use tax, that looks good too. That looks okay. That doesn't look too bad. Ganon, ooh. Tigris Battalions, that sounds like fun. The NRA has seen the equal valor of women in combat, though it has not yet developed any programs to fully allow women to participate as enlisted soldiers or officers. Upon the urging of Song Qingling, the NRA has begun a formal program to train women as officers and soldiers. The program also envisions training all female Tigris Battalions for frontline and garrison duties. Well, I get a factory, and I get an event. That sounds kind of cool. Um, where are you guys headed to? Down there? Good. Come right here, and then help move straight up north. And what is the strength of you? Well, you're learning stuff. Good. Just don't let them take an inch. Shang Ching. Please do not... Oh, and... Oh, Zili's looking pretty good now. Uh, we need more... Uh, war support. I mean, we're already on partial mobilization, which isn't bad whatsoever. Chief of Navy, Chief of the Air Force, Industrial Concerns. It looks like we're lacking a lot of things here. Maybe for now, it might not stay this way, which will be good. R really, I don't have that much political power to use, or decisions, or point, really, to get ministers. So, really, I'm just going to use more stuff for decision-making. So, more war support. Thank you. Construction 1. Thank you. It's 1936. Oh, I need better guns. Why are we using garbage guns? Let's at least get this first. Machine guns gives us more defense and breakthrough. That's important. <clears throat> I didn't realize we were fighting with garbage. Throw you right there. That'll be good. Keep grinding out that army XP. We're going to need a lot of it. A whole lot of it. And actually, when you're done, move up that way. Immediately move up that way. And then when you're done, you guys will actually move up there. good. And we've made it. That's right. I'm going to already try an encirclement. Potentially. You, some of you guys are going to move up north, which is awesome. Yeah, nothing's going on around here. That's good. German East Asia declare we're in the Indo-Chinese Union. Good. Good. Imperialism must die. Ooh, they declare independence. Good. You guys move right there. I want you to hold... I want you to attack this group, just so that they're distracted. Bub Ing Shi, good. Really want to make you bigger. This is going to kill all of our infantry equipment, though, so I really don't want to do that. Get rid of... I don't really want to get rid of anybody. Mm. You're only attacking, and you're only militia, so that's why I'm letting you attack. So, we can divide them there. Awesome. The Russian Republic declared we're going to lash Orda. So be it, whatever. Great. Now what? <laughs> now what? Surprised they aren't attacking me more and more. We do have the Baratia Commune uh, soldiers here. They're only infantry divisions, which isn't great, but whatever. Tigris Battalions, thank you. Next up, we shall choose... Um, Handel Shangqing Tianguo. <clears throat> I guess we'll do Provisional Legal Code. During the early stages of the revolution, Chinese territory reclaimed by the Kuomintang, Kuomintang has to be administered in a manner much different than from the la later Democratic Republic it will become. While supporting military operations must be prioritized, the Central Committee should also begin establishing civil courts and reintroduce the old organic law code to maintain peace, stability, and most importantly, tax revenues. Oh, we already have a lot of war support. Wait, minus 15% from low popular support. Ooh, that is uh, no bueno. No one in infantry leader yet? No? Okay, well, whatever. Shang Zi was annexed. Okay, why do you keep changing your name, guys? You changed your flag. Who the heck are you? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me he's a German guy. Beijing government of the Republic of China. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, on our own. Yeah, you deserve to be on your own if you capitulate to the Germans. Oh, well, I guess you maybe didn't. You're not even loyal to them. Who the hell are you, then? How did you get here? Illegitimate Republic. Uh, 
Man, I thought I played <laughs> the Qing Chinese weirdly. Who the heck are you? Anyways, um, so you guys will go this way. I'm going to have to mostly just use infantry for this. You guys should be able to run. Oh, throw you in there too. That'll be bueno. Got to keep an eye on the deficit of guns though. Mmm, water. Oh, leader of the Song Qing Tuan. Tuan. Recently died Chong Feng has suggested calling for more youths to participate in the revolution of three people's principles. The proposal of establishing the Song Qing Tuan, Tuan is regarded by most people as a sign of Zong Teju's expansion. However, much to their surprise, it seems that Dai Chong Feng is unlikely to directly appoint a leader of the group, the S group, which offers us an opportunity. Zhu and Lai proposes that the splendid youth general Xiao Qi is best qualified for this position due to his superior leadership skills, while Song Qingling suggests our big sister, Kai, Cha, Kai Cheng, is a better choice, as her image as the Tigress soldier will make for excellent propaganda. Level 1 general and more social democracy, or level 1 general name other person, and so, uh, socialism. Totalism. Social democracy. I don't really know. It doesn't sound like it's going to hurt us that much. But it sounds like if we can use propaganda to our advantage, I'm going to choose the propaganda part. I love propaganda. Now, our goal here is to not... Ooh, there goes them. Leave Wenzhou as the last area for us to attack. Because... I want to make sure that we take the port first. Alright. Soviet Russia. Georgia. Don Kuban Union. Alash Orda. Your USS has not exploded yet. Not yet. They're still led by Herbert Hoover and everyone's dying on, under them. Cool. Cool, cool. Good. Keep grinding all that XP. Come on. Kick them out. And you know what? You stay put. Just because I don't want you to leave. That's a bad idea for you guys to leave. Good. Make sure you're all right there. Seven divisions... Do what you need to do. Oosh. Jabal Shamad was annexed. If, you're, if they're going to leave, I'm kind of okay with that. They probably won't naval invade me. It's not like I have any ships. Kamul Khanate declared war on these guys over here. All right, whatever. All right, next up is 1936. Artillery would be nice. Oh, I've not done anything for land doctrine. I could do mass assault, but I like superior firepower. It's so nice to use in this. Good. Very good. No, I'm going to pull you off. I really want to finish this side off first. Anywhere that has two divisions, I'm going to... Well, I guess that's pretty much all the divisions we got. Oh, our deficit, deficit of guns isn't going any higher, really, so that's nice. 0.89. Provisional legal code. Yunnan clique falls into... Civil War. Uh, is your entire country demilitarized now? It almost seems like it. You guys love attacking like crazy. Come on, get some more experience, guys. Come on. And I kind of am waiting for more guns, so. Provisional legal code. <clears throat> oh, I can't do anything here? Oh, I have to be at war with those guys again? Are you kidding me? I, I feel really limited by what I can do. Really limited. Handle the millenarians. Reorganize national assaults. I would love to do this. But let's do establish naval presence because that's pretty much the most peaceful thing that we can do. The nationalists are in desperate need of a merchant marine and armed escorts that can connect us to friendly trading partners. Reorganizing the commandeered seaworthy ships seized by our armies will take time, but it is an important step towards creating a new Chinese navy. Now all we get is a few measly convoys. So be it. So be it. Um, I'm going to attack you guys and then let you guys come that way. I will surround Wenzhou. I think that'd be good. Take these guys out. Surround them. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Um, you're probably not going to win. So go ahead and hope for now. We can wait our time. Nanjing isn't going anywhere. They're not winning against Shangqing to the north. They have a ton of manpower. Oh my goodness. They have a way more... Actually, no. We actually have the same amount of military factories. Finland joined the Reichs Pact. We got this stuff. Let's get some guns. How about you guys, though? You guys have even more manpower and more divisions than me. Yet you're having all sorts of problems. Wait. Violently suppressed drug trade. Wow. Peasant revolts. The honored master. 
Alright, so you keep attacking. I don't like how you just keep attacking. You're not really winning. How strong are they? Uh, I really don't want to attack. We do have a deficit. I don't like deficits of any kind. So let's just be smart about it and wait. In the meantime, let's increase the deficit. <laughs> I really want bigger divisions for now. I mean, this will definitely help us if we can get here. Yeah, that's a little bit worse. But it's not as bad as it could be, so... Some of these divisions are actually not even related. Um, establish naval presence, national revolutionary army. I really need to get rid of that. That's really bad. I wish they would attack me more, though. They're not even attacking the north. They're not just they're just sitting there. Uh, and the Bharti economy is trying to do something, but it's not like they really can. Come on, make more guns. Establish a naval presence. That's very good. Well, I'm going to have to choose one of these things to do. So, I guess we'll handle these guys first. The province of Shandong has been brought directly into contact with us thanks to the League War. If we are to ever take China for the people, we must deal with this potential threat, preventing it from spreading throughout the southeast. Shangqing Tianguo, which is that group up there. So we're going to wait to make ourselves stronger and stronger and stronger. Well, we do get just a wee bit of... Army XP every single day, which is nice. You guys love attacking. You guys just love attacking like crazy. What if I helped you attack? Would you actually win if you if we were to help you attack? Maybe. That's a definite maybe. 78? No. That's a big N-O. Yeah. They're too strong. Oh, oh, Huey Long was elected. Let's see what a southerner can do as president. Yeah, there's really not much I can do right here. Right now. There's like little to nothing I can do. Not an aggression pact with Chen Zhongming. Huh. Ooh. Improve worker conditions. I like that. Rally public support. Improve party popularity. Liaison with the DVQDD rebels. Or the Dai Viet Kuomintang is our sister organization in the and in Indochina, and is just as devoted to the cause of democratic anti-imperialism and Asia as we are. With our borders touching the Indochinese region, we may be able to more closely aid and cooperate with them as part of their work within the wider world of native Indochinese politics. Hey, let's, go for let's, let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. Handle them. Hmm. Really? I mean, the biggest thing we gotta do is just... Ooh, more weekly stability. Less output, though. Can I afford that? Well... Oh, we actually lose organization if we don't do this, so. Or we have less stability. Really, we just gotta wait for guns right now. It's unfortunate. I gotta wait for guns, though. I'm really disappointed that they're not attacking my line. Or doing anything. They're just sitting there. Like, come on, guys. Norway joined the third international. Good. 10,000 losses. 52,000. Like, seriously. Com the combined strength of the enemies of Nanjing Clique might not be enough compared to the Nanjing Clique. There we go, Sweden. Good. So now, we're just going to hang out and hold. That's right. Hang out and hold. We might be able to take out that cavalry division, though. There's only four battalions. Um, I want action, at least of some sort. I want to continue grinding for more XP. Even if it costs us just a little bit of manpower, and maybe a little bit of guns. Are we winning? We're slowly but surely winning. More and more army XP. Good, 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 good. What is our deficit like so far? Minus 4,000. Could be worse. Could be worse. Hmm. Come on. All right, I don't know why the Bharti Communist wants to continue to attack that area. That doesn't really make sense. You have to keep an eye on manpower ever since we made those divisions 20 combat, with, which is okay. We'll need to go to extensive conscription, so... Come on. I wish I could, I could control that Indian division. That'd be so nice. Go ahead and hold. And... Well, at least we won there. That's kind of nice. You guys move that way for now. As much as I would love to take out... Oh, they're leaving. 
Now, they do have a land fort here. The level 2 land fort. And it's a mountain. Yeah, I probably won't be able to encircle those guys. That's unfortunate. Italian democracy survives. Well, I'm just going to kick these guys out anyways. It doesn't matter. Just kick them out. That's all I care about. If we can. Not bad. Superior firepower. Good. More soft... What was that? More attack? More soft attack. I love it. Give him the big softy. Losses. Minus 3,700. 3,780. Liaison. Very good. Very good. Support KMT. Negotiate with the Hunan clique. Show up only once we've completed the first congress and there's a bordering region aligned tag for us to negotiate with. Um, yeah, I guess. We're not going to go to war with them, so... Let's do that. In Hunan. The only remaining democracy in Hunan was discovered by some members of the Kuomintang. However, Hunan clique is still firmly controlled by the non-KMT forces, and our revolutionary progress is developing very slowly there. By expanding the influence of the KMT in Hunan province, it will make it easier for us to revolutionize. So, cooperation with the DVQDD. Our revolution has brought us into contact with a fellow revolutionary group, the Q DVQDD. They are attempting to secure an anti-imperialism nation based on the same ideals as our government, which makes it the perfect group that we can work with to ensure our survival. Some have doubted whether it is worth allying them as they believed a subjugated Indochina is a more worthwhile opportunity. Cooperate? We can ally them in the focus form the East Asian National League. However, we won't be able to attack them. Oh, no. No, I remember seeing this one down here. What is it? Oh, down here. Repay the syndicalists. Intervene. Perhaps form the East Asian National League. That's not bad. I don't mind having Southeast Asia as... Um, but I, I, I want to attack them, though. I kind of want to attack them. Hmm. Will we unlock if our relations with them are low? I do want to create my own faction, though. That sounds kind of nice. Liberate South Asia. Ooh. Am I going to do independent policy? Or repay the syndicalists? To hell with them. We're not going to... They're not Chinese. Whatever. Ugh. Decisions, decisions. They all have to be made. God dang it. We can't kill these guys off yet. We need more guns. We need more strength. Oh. Left KMT, not easy to play as. And I, I, I wish they would... The Nanjing clique, like, what are you stalling for? There's nothing here. No, well, I mean, I guess you're getting stronger, I guess. Technically. More land doctrine stuff? German rifles? Oh, my goodness. Krupp? Oh, my God, artillery. Oh, happy 1937, though, guys. There's really not much I can do. Uh, here's something I could try, I suppose. You guys all will attack here. Send you guys... Send you guys. Can you kill them, please? That would be great. You should be able to kill them off. Oh, last order was annexed. Nice. You know, give them a force attack. Zhu Di secures power and Yunnan. Truly troubling. Uh-oh. Now they got rid of their demilitarized groups. They are social democrats. And he doesn't look very happy. Oh, German economic control over Gi Jews. Jews. Tin weakened. Yeah, we, oh yeah, now we're winning there. Now we're playing with firepower. Great. You know what? I don't mind if we lose this tile. Just so that this other tile might leave that area, which is kind of interesting and important. Come on. Keep grinding out more manpower. Or X, army XP, I mean. <clears throat> Come on, India. Stop attacking that tile, man. Good, they're defeated. Let them come in here. That might make them weaker. Oh, dang it. Oh, well, at least we got one, two divisions over here. That's great. If that's the case, go ahead and <clears throat> teach them their destiny. Teach them their destiny. Good. Do we have any upgrades yet? Please. S please get better, guys. Like, infantry leader is coming along. Trickster is coming along. Hills fighter is slowly but surely coming along as well. Ah, two enemy divisions. Never stood a chance. What is the Beijing government doing? Future, again. City administration. No national focus. Approve. Oh! The people's government! Hello there, Chen Mingshu. Social Democrats, I see you have become. Ooh. Promote local democracy. 
Join the KMT? Contest leftist rule. Huh. Claim national leadership. Huh. It'll be interesting to see what they are up to over time. I know this takes months for us to do. Oh, we killed off one division already. Nice. 63,000 men are dead. Great. Now let's go ahead and support the KMT and Liang Guang. The leader of Liang Guang KMT is an oddity among the rogue NRA generals in that he favors left-wing politics, but he is totally opposed to the more authoritarian factions within the Chinese left. <clears throat> With the Central Committee's new alignment towards the democratic principles of the Min Kuan, we have a rare opportunity to proceed peacefully to reunify the region through negotiated talks. Now that would be absolutely wild. Thank you. Goodbye, Cavalry Division. Now we have freed up way more divisions so we can help kill these two divisions down here. We have a tighter, stronger, united front. Now, I could put in these new rifles, but I'm barely making any as it is, and I need 10 a day. So I'm not going to change that. 1937, get some more output. God, I can't wait to be at peace. Oh, standoff in America? I see. Because I would love rural liter literacy programs. I'm running out of thing focuses to do right now. This really isn't good. Nanjing, usually whenever I play left KMT, they're, they're not alive for this long. Go ahead and start attacking them. See if you can do anything. The Cairo Congress, all right. I wonder where I've seen this before. Good, crush them. Well, America, you're looking a little divided. Uh, the AUS got all of... What the heck? How did you... What? Wait, hold on. So, we have the AUS here. Tennessee, North Carolina didn't secede yet. But the CSA didn't get Minnesota or Iowa. You still have the New England area. No New Jersey. You still have New, New York City. Cool. Um... They want that tile, which is fine, So, which means I want as much of the coast as I can possibly take. Ooh, uh, I'll leave Nanjing for now. Alright, that looks pretty good. I mean, I did do like 80% of the entire war. So, I'll give the rest to you guys. You know what? Here, you can have... Um... You know what? It'll just look nice if we give him that. I want to go to war with these guys soon anyways. It doesn't matter. I don't really care. Eh, the war's over. I don't know how that was... I, I, I don't mind doing that now, but what the heck. I don't know why the war just ended like that. Give me more guns, though. Ooh, we're out of steel. Cool. The war's over. Great. Oh, we can fire... Fire? We can hire foreign people now. Even though we were trying to kick out foreign people earlier. Hmm. Makes you think. Handle Chongqing Tiaoguo. Uh... I get more war support. Annex Wargle against them. The Kumonting prepares attacks against us. Mobilize units in the south. I could integrate them. I don't need to integrate them yet. I do want to handle these guys immediately. And I want to get rid of them. And we do have 14 divisions, so I feel pretty good about this. Victory imminent. Wait, I had a victory imminent? I don't remember that. But okay, I'll, I'll take whatever I can get, man. So good, we'll do that. And I want to mobilize the units here. 18 factories. Wow, that's actually... Oh, Nanjing clique is defeated! Great! Hurrah! With the capitulation of the remaining Nanjing forces, we have finally bested both of our competitors for control of the five eastern provinces. Our control over the region is now secure, with only the stray report of banditry challenging the left KMT's authority. From this staging area, the National Revolution will have a secure foundation to reunify the country. Give me more soldiers for now. That'll be important. And yes, I know I'm not at war. I can't go with total mobilization or even war economy now, but whatever. What happens, happens. Great. Ah, oh, I love it. East, wow, what's going on over here? You think East China is doing bad, but West China is on fire. You think Southeast Asia is okay? Serbia has now as a republic. Oh, they're dying. Oh no, I'm glad I didn't ally them. Uh, I guess just keep building this up. I don't really know. 20%, ooh, 50, oh, 50%. It's already built. 20, 30, 30, 50. Yes, please. Good, good, good. And you are a republic now, huh? Serbian Republic. Wild. How many divisions they got? What's going on with these guys? National focus. Oh, they have way more manpower than me. Which is fine, but they don't have... Eh, they actually have more divisions than me, too. Going to go to war with these guys and attack if you can't and be successful at it? You know what? You guys just move in there. Take you and circle this, these two divisions if you can. 
Incidents in Wenzhou. Occupation plans for Wenzhou and other AOG ports have been severely lacking compared to the meticulous steps and lines of advance drawn around Xiamen. When NRI forces occupied the city of Wenzhou, spontaneous anti-foreign riots began all across the city, leading to the murders of numerous German residents and the looting of much of the city's uptown districts. To complicate matters, several smaller advanced groups of national troops also participated in the looting until more disciplined units arrived to secure the area. Wenzhou is now significantly damaged from the civil unrest. Oh, I lose political power. I don't like that. I don't like losing political power. No one does. But I must grab more... Um, army XP. It looks like now we're really not winning in most places. That sucks. But it makes sense. That's the case. You help kill him off there. You should be able to win. You stop. You stop. And then all of you guys stop as well. I only want green. If you don't have green, I don't want you to go. You should be able to win here, though. At least. At the very least. Are you moving in, or are you just kind of staying there? Yeah, you're just kind of staying there, which is nice. Hi, Fi. Ling Bao. Lin Bao. Biao. More divisions? Good. Throw them all on there. Oh, Bharati Commune. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, we're even making some, su some support equipment. Awesome. Now, factory-wise, we're probably doing better than them. Yeah, they have... Oh, they got rid of the revolutions and stuff. Yeah, they have three military factories. Oh, second American Civil War. We have six. USA declared war on all of them. And now... Oh, no, the AUS actually got Tennessee and these guys. The federal government still has the Northeast and New York City. And the CSA didn't get Iowa or Minnesota. And the Pacific States didn't get Idaho. Huh. Kind of, kind of wild. Cool. Are we winning or losing anywhere yet? Not yet. Oh, some, some, did something happen? No? Okay, good. I don't like surprises like that. Don't move too much. Let's let these guys get a little more stuff. Syndicate. Oh, the Ukraine has fallen. Hello, Socialist Republic of Ukraine. Hello there. And the Germans were kind of pissed off from that. Okay, makes sense. Cool. I need to attack somewhere successful. Like, maybe here? But I need more guns so I can do better with my stuff. I need more. I always need more guns. I need more artillery, too. I need a lot of things. Mobilize more units? Well, I can't do that. I, I want to, at the very least, go to war economy. Oh, good. We got those guys. What about what, more divisions? Oh, I need more divisions, too. Oh, support KMT and Langguang. Awesome, now let's go ahead and grab the l Rural Literacy Program. Much of the rural population of China is too poorly educated to be trained for modern warfare, let alone as specialists. A Minsheng endorsed program to provide literacy education for both adults and children should be implemented as soon as possible to counteract these problems. That's absolutely important. I can attack here, but that's three divisions. That's a lot. I can attack here, but that's a lot of divisions as well. And these infantry divisions? Well, frankly, even though they look like they're... Less strong as militia divisions. They still have more strength. Way more defense. Triple the breakthrough. Yeah, don't ever use militia divisions. They're so garbage. Oh, Mongolia declared one month. Oh, Mokliq and Tibet are all, they're all having a weird time. Democracy prevails, prevails in the Philippines. Uh, the way my units are composed, they're not really good. I need you like guys over there. I need you guys like right there. That's really ugly, the way we've composed these guys or where they're supposed to be. I don't want to attack until we are really good and ready to do so. And if we don't attack, we get we lower our deficit of guns for now. <clears throat> oh, why'd you go, syndicalist guys? You're gonna lose Brest, Litovsk, Litovsk, and Pinsk probably, or something like that. Say so you want to quit. Okay, you all really hate each other, don't you? That's okay with me. Let each other kill each other off. Oh, who are you? why are you attacking, son? Oh, don't tell me they have engineers. Oh, oh, they're not. They're dug in. Okay, Whew, thank God. If they had engineers, we would not never be able to break these guys. Good. I like those three divisions over there. They have a couple... Ooh, more divisions. Good, 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 good. The 1937 Spartacade. The first Spartacade's opening ceremony was held in Dijon and attended by dignitaries and athletes from around the socialist world. The French team carried the torch, the British team the hammer, and the other teams carried the pieces of the cog to the location where they were to be assembled. When placed together, they formed the international symbol of syndicalism. What a glorious day for the walking man. Absolutely. Now, we might be able to prevail here. We might be able to prevail here as well. I don't want to say I'm going to try this, 
But I do want to try this. 73. 74. Japan announces her ambitions. Oh. Good. They should be able to win, especially if we give them force attack. What are you doing, Japan? You're social conservative. You're sent volunteers to Russia and the PSA. Um, they want superior firepower. Oh, we'll see what what they do. Hopefully, they don't go to war with me. Just kill off the Beijing government and all those people up there. They don't deserve to live, as we all know. Cool. We should be able to win here, and then we'll call it an episode. Losses. We've lost four thousand versus their three thousand. Not ideal, but whatever. Ooh, the Zhu for high affair. God dang it. The Yi Guangdao movement may be associated with Shandong province, but adherents can be found throughout China. At the 1929 Party con Congress, the Kumon Kuomintang resolved that none of its members could also belong ooh, to any charismatic spiritual movements, and chief among them being the Yi... God dang it. God dang it. Oh my goodness. The Yi Guangdao. With the National Revolution now fighting against the forces of the mad mystic Zan Tian Ran, God, oh my god, the Zong Teju has begun extensive counterintelligence sweeps to purge secret Yi Guangdao practitioners. The most prominent secret millen millenarian revealed so far has unexpectedly been Zhu Fohai, a Ma Min Quan faction member. Zhu has resigned all his posts under duress by the Central Committee and now has been expelled from the party. His accusation and arrest has caused a scandal within the Nationalist government. Thanks a lot. So outcome of the Spartacade. We got a few medals in the events, but not enough for our team to be the winner. Eh, whatever. So, Paraguay, whatever. We're still radical socialists, and that's all that really matters. Come on, guys. Win, 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 win. Because you're going to be killing yourselves if you don't win. Bolivia declared war on Paraguay. South America is on fire, and that's okay. Come on, take him out, take him out. Less than 3,000 guns deficit, awesome. End of the Spartacade. It's been a tremendous success with a great many people enjoying the games. It was a very good move to join the Spartacade, the Olympics of the working class, and they immediately attack me and syndicalist revolutionaries in Switzerland. But anyways, that is all the time that we have for today, my friends. We had defeated the Nanjing clique, and we have begun for the war against Xiangqing Tiao. Guo. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it was a little slow going, but whatever. If you liked it, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we see Northwest China killing itself. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.